Well, THX posted this to their Facebook the other day. thought this was kind of neat to look at. I guess this is the original sound designer's uh, manuscript, you might call it, for that THX boom that you used to hear before movies in the 90s and the early noughts, the one that blew everyone's eardrums out. Um, and I think most people, even sort of non-musically oriented people, could sort of discern what was going on here. Uh, but it, it is neat just to see sort of, um, you know, a layout of exactly what they had in mind when they were designing this. So it's pretty simple, really. Um, you have 30 voices at random pitches between 200 and 400 hertz, and those pitches sort of meander and mingle with one another until they eventually branch out to form this giant D major chord here at the end, um, with three voices per note all slightly detuned to create kind of a chorus effect. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that, you know, if you're starting out with Super Collider and you're looking for a beginner's project that might help you sort of get familiar with its capabilities, this is kind of a cool thing just to sort of do in your free time to sort of uh, get familiar with, with, you know, the power of Super Collider. And the reason I say that is because Super Collider is really great at handling things like randomization. Um, and the reason I say that is because if you were going to, if you were going to design this, this type of sound clip in a traditional DAW, you can say 30 voices at random pitches all day long, but I think most people, if they were going to do this in a traditional DAW, would, would really just end up picking 30 voices uh, between 200 and 400 hertz by hand. And then also to control this randomization, I think what most people would do would be just to use automation to sort of create uh, a sense of randomization. Um, but that's what SuperCloud is really good at. So let's see what that might look like if you were going to code that. This is really a, a very simple synth. Um, it's just a sawtooth generator, uh, but the, the, the magic is that the frequency is controlled by a line generator, which is gonna take that frequency over the course of 20 seconds from a starting frequency to a final frequency. And the starting frequency, again, is gonna be randomized in between 200 and 400 hertz, so that every time you play this back, you're gonna get 33 uh, unique new pitches in between 200 and 400 hertz. Sort of reminds me of uh, the Xbox startup. There was sort of this revolution, uh, this, this revelation last month that the original Xbox startup animation was not a movie file that was in that console. It was actually uniquely, randomly, algorithmically generated every time the console started up. So it's kind of neat. Um, some other elements in here, you have some randomized panning, which I, I think is present in the original sound clip as well. Uh, you have an envelope generator, which is going to control the dynamic level over the course of, of this sample. Um, and you have a detune, which is going to uh, make sure that when we spawn all these synths, that they're all, they all have a very, very slight frequency deviation from one another. If you were going to design this right and do it very elegantly, what you might do is handle this detune a little bit better. Um, currently, because what we're doing is we're just multiplying the frequency of each voice by a random number in between 0.99 and 1.01, um, what you're going to get with that is a, a little bit of, a, of an imbalance between the registers because, of course, uh, multiplying, you know, losing, losing hertz in the in lower register is much more audibly detectable than it is in the higher register. And the multiplication handles that well enough, um, but, you know, if you were going to do it really, really well, you might make that inversely proportional to the register of the voice such that in the higher register you really are getting a smaller detune than in the lower register, just so that it sounds a little bit more balanced. What you might also do is make it so that instead of just a line generator, you have um, a little bit more randomization uh, to create this sort of meandering effect. One good way to do that might be to control the frequency with, say, like a low frequency sine wave generator, where you have the frequency and the min max of that sine wave controlled by noise generators to create that, that true just sort of randomized meandering. Um, I tried that, it made it sound a little bit too wobbly for my taste, and I think when you have uh, 30 voices, um, even if they're all online generators, um, they're all going to be moving in and out of one another, and it sounds pretty nice as it is. Um, and then what we're going to do with that, with that synth is we're going to spawn 33 instances of it that are going to spell out that final D major chord. This is also a little messy, there's probably a better way to do this, but it works nicely for my purposes because it's 2am and I'm just trying to sort of take a mental break in between projects. So let's see what that sounds like. sounds pretty authentic. 